It was when we sailed upwind, in big weather, with water rushing over the boat, that we realized that our top hatch was leaking badly. There were many things we didn't like about that hatch, and so we decided now to replace it. We made a base out of wood and screwed it into place. The entire base was then epoxied, sanded, and painted. We applied a sealant adhesive, popped the hatch on, and screwed it down tight. It looks amazing and doesn't leak. Next on our list was a mainsail. This one will be thicker and have three reefs rather than two. It's a big but necessary expense. After all, what's a boat without a proper set of wings? While Pinot needs sails, steering is also important. Because we removed the whale post, we needed to reroute the engine control cables and the control lever to a new location. Making holes in the boat is never pleasant. With this, our new tiller system is almost complete. We were able to do some small electronic projects here and there too. Like a little radio. After these months of boat work, we were looking forward to doing something else, and to seeing more of New Zealand. We met up with friends in Auckland for our long trip down to Wellington to attend the New Zealand Game Festival Play by Play. There, we met with friends we had not seen in years, and others we'd only spoken to online. Wellington is the place to be for games in New Zealand. There is much passion in this scene. There is a desire to transgress, to change the status quo, a need to share ideas, to build worlds for others to experience. We are honored to be amongst such people. Their stories rekindled our love of games. We left the festival dizzy with knowledge and went to take a break on Mount Victoria flying drones and enjoying the sea breeze. On our drive back to Auckland, we experienced van living, which resembles living on a boat. We use the same kind of off-grid systems. This is a way of life that we definitely enjoy. We stopped often taking in the environment around us. This place is so wonderfully diverse. Birds and sheep everywhere, columns of smoke eerily rising from thermal pools on the side of the road, mountain chains on the horizon. A picture-worthy scenery at every turn. We really needed this trip. Now we can't wait to go back and work on games and projects again. Taking some time away from one's own work is important. Something to remember for the future. And as always, thank you for keeping us afloat. Literally.
So I'm really terrible at making slides with titles and text on it, so it's going to be more of a show and tell. And I'm going to run you through some of the process of uh, uh, this lifestyle experiment that we've been doing for the past two years.